No. No, sweetheart. Oh. No, my oh, darling. Baby. No, dear. There. No. Much nicer. No, darling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now with the painting. What was it on my wall? Corned beef and cabbage? <laughs> Look at it. Look how the blues stand out in it there. Big deal. Who ever heard of blue oranges? <laughs> well, if we put it on your wall, it wouldn't change the color of the oranges. Uh, oh, honey, believe me, it looks much better on that wall. <laughs> Darling, uh, why don't you just stick to telling jokes and leave the interior decorating to my judgment, huh, baby? Sure, sure. I'm just a saloon entertainer. What does an ignoramus like me know about interior decorating? Oh. How about art? How about anything else? Sure. Oh, Linda. Linda, come here, darling. How would you like an impartial opinion from an impartial bystander in an impartial way? Very well. Linda, don't you like the picture on the wall there where Mommy put it? Don't you, sweetheart? Oh, watch that sweetheart stuff. <laughs> supposed to be impartial. Oh. We want to be fair and square. Isn't that right, Linda Window? Sure, Daddy Waddy. Yes. <laughs> Goody Woody. Yes, impartial. Now. Look at this guy. Look at him. Now, Linda, baby, tell the truth. Do you like the picture on the wall where Daddy wants it or over here where your mother wants it? I like it better where my mommy wants it. Get lost, will you? What does she know? She's just a kid. She was your witness, Daddy, not mine. I should have known better than asking. You females always stick together anyway. Always ganging up on me. What's the difference what I want? It's what you want that counts. Look, maybe the news hasn't gotten around, but I'm the head of this house, you know. Well, the head of the house can be wrong, too, you know. All the time? <laughs> Come, I like the picture on that wall. Is that such a big thing? Is that, is that too much to ask? I mean, any other wife would jump at the opportunity to please her husband with such a little thing, but not you. Oh, no, good old Dan, nice, good-natured schnook. Let's just walk all over him. Oh. With high heels yet. You're making such a big thing out of nothing. This nothing is a something. I think it's high time we establish who wears the pants in this family. Oh. I would like you to please hang the picture on that wall. Over there. Well, I never heard of anything so silly. All right, if it makes that much difference to you, I'll do what you ask. I'm not asking, I'm telling you. <laughs> what was that? Said I'm not asking, I'm telling you. Would uh, you like to reconsider that? Nope. I'm the head of this house. I wear the pants in this family. I <laughs> order you to hang the picture on that wall. <laughs> Kathy. Yes, dear. Don't you dare hang it on that fireplace. <laughs> Kathy, I, I forbid it. Forbid? Forbid! That's the word I've been waiting for. <laughs> now listen. <laughs> oh, Kathy, wait till you see the brochures we got. Oh, they're just dreamy. Come look at this one. I Bermuda, oh. land of enchantment. Bermuda, Bermuda. honeymooners. Paradise. I thought Pat wanted to go to Lake Placid on your honeymoon. Well, I did, but Terry had her heart set on Bermuda, so I <laughs> said, all right. Oh, you mean you let the woman you love make the choice? Well, sure. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> Wait, this one. It's a whole layout of the boat, and it shows our exact shape. You stay good? Oh, you seem exciting. <laughs> Beat it. I want to talk to Pat. Sit down. Okay. If anybody wants me, I'll be over at Helen's. Who's Helen? Oh, don't you know Helen? No. She just moved in down the block. Oh. Well, you ought to see her, Daddy. Huh? Pretty face, long blonde ponytail, and she's got that certain something. <laughs> what certain something? A charge account at the ice cream parlor. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta go help her clean up her room. See, I mean, you gotta help her clean up her room. Well, she asked me to. When I ask you to clean up, you only make a big federal case out of it. You don't have a long blonde ponytail. <laughs> Come back here. Sit down. Never mind. What are you encouraging? Sit down. Maybe you better enroll in this class in domestic relations, too. This Helen is pushing you around the way Terry's pushing him around. What do you mean, pushing me around? I'll tell you what I mean, dumbhead. 
<laughs> you want to go to Lake Placid on your honeymoon, and she's pushing you to Bermuda. And is she not pushing me? I don't mind going to Bermuda. That's not the point. Now, remember this, both of you. Once a man takes a position, he cannot afford to back down. If you say you're going to take your girl to Lake Placid on a honeymoon, that's where you got to go. I don't think Helen's mother will let her. <laughs> Talking about his girl, not your girl. Look, these are the important times in your life with, with Terry. It's very important for you, boy, to establish right now that you're the head man or you're dead. I don't want to be the head man. I want Terry and I to, to share things, to be equals. Equal? <laughs> Bite your tongue. <laughs> this equality stuff is what you read in books, boy. In real life, marriage is a war. <laughs> Take it from a battle-scarred veteran. <laughs> Look at you, you're not even married, you're already wounded. <laughs> women, oh, they use real sharp knives. You're bleeding and you don't know it. And you keep bleeding, and you keep bleeding. And one morning you wake up, you're a zombie. <laughs> well, one of you, mate, all I did was agree to go to Bermuda no. on my honeymoon. All you did was agree to let her make the first decision, and that's absolute death, buddy. That is like, like letting a shark get the first taste of blood. After that, there's no stopping it. You know where we made our big mistake? Where? Giving them the vote. Sharks can vote? Oh, be quiet. <laughs> Talking about women. Look at you, got women doctors, women lawyers, women senators, women judges. You got women barbers, women bartenders. You let Terry make this decision now, she thinks you can make them all the time. Now it's Bermuda. Next, it's how many children you're gonna have. Whether they're gonna be boys or girls. <laughs> and then comes the crusher. The real big one. She's gonna tell you which wall you can hang a painting on. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> I admit I've given that some thought, but that's not the answer. The important thing is you've got to plug up the dike the minute the first crack appears. Now, be a man. Go out there and tell her you want to go to Lake Placid on your honeymoon. Oh, Danny, I, I don't know. What you say may be true about some, but not, 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 not Terry. She's my own daughter, my own flesh and blood, and I love her very dearly, but I'm telling you right now, if you don't assert yourself, you are going to have a double ring ceremony. Well, what's wrong with that? One ring will be on her finger, and the other one will be in your nose. <laughs> Here's the pool, and this one right here is our stateroom. Oh, it's lovely. You're going to have a marvelous cruise. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, Pat, Terry was just showing me your stateroom. It's beautiful. Well, I'm, uh, I'm glad you like it. That's the uh, stateroom on the boat that's going to uh, Bermuda, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> the one that's going to Bermuda. Well, if he's not going to start plugging the dike, I'm going to go over to Helen's. <laughs> dike? What dike? Oh, we, uh, we were talking about dikes and dams and and uh, <laughs> streams and rivers and lakes and things. And naturally, when you get to talking about lakes, you think of Lake Placid, you know. It's <laughs> one of the crisp, clean air and its majestic mountains. And right then and there, Pat jumps up and comes to a conclusion. But a, a definite conclusion. Yes, sir. Tell him about your conclusion, boy. <laughs> well, I came to the definite conclusion that Lake Placid surely has crisp, clean mountain air. <laughs> what a schlump. Pat, if you'd rather go to Lake Placid, Isn't the question I... he'd rather? He insists upon going to Lake Placid. I didn't know you felt so strong Terry, about... Terry, I'd like to see you in the kitchen a minute, please. <laughs> huh? See? I see what. See what? Why do you think Kathy took her into the kitchen? Oh, I don't know. Maybe they're going to cook something. Yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> Look, boy, that's a council of war. Do you think so? Do I think so? I know so. Kathy's giving her a pep talk right now. She's saying to her, she can't let a man push her around. Men are beasts. Terry isn't sure. Not my pet, she says. He's a doll. And Kathy says, <laughs> he's as big a rat as any of them. Oh, but he's sweet, my pet. 
So he's a sweet rat, says Kathy. Says, if you give in this time, you'll be nothing but a wet dish rag from now on. Now, what about women's rights? And how about equality? Harry's back when he's stiffening. Women are as good as men any day of the week. Now get that ring into his nose right away, or he'll walk all over you. Now, go out there and tell him you're going to Bermuda, and that's final! <laughs> Daddy, that's ridiculous. Ridiculous. A dollar's to donuts by the time Kathy gets through with that child. She will come in here and say to you, Pat, we're going to Bermuda. Pat, we're going to Bermuda. <laughs> because I, I don't know if I have any occasion Well, we'll just look up here and see what uh, sort of things they're wearing in Bermuda. You know they wear lots of shorts. And, they do? And... <laughs> Suppose they're talking about in well, there. I suppose I don't suppose I know what they're talking about. The great halftime speech by Coach Danny Williams. Are you a man or a lap dog? Every time she snaps her fingers, you're going to sit up and bark. What are you going to do? Let her lead you around by the ring in your nose? Don't give up the ship. Remember the Alamo. Are you going to let a woman beat you? Get in there and fight. Give her the old one too. Rickety rackety rickety ring. Judging by the look in Kathy's eye, I'd say this is where the dirty stuff starts. <laughs> From now on, you gotta be on your guard, boy. Oh, when a woman really wants something, there's nothing too sneaky for her to pull. Oh, they can be sweet and tempting. And they can be weepy and forlorn and miserable. Oh, they can turn it on and off like a faucet, but I know all of their tricks, boy. Just stick with me, I'll be with you every inch of the way. Well, listen, Danny, actually, well, actually, I wouldn't mind going to Bermuda. Bermuda! <laughs> you think I'm gonna lose this battle because of you? Well, it may be your battle, General, but I'm getting killed. <laughs> you're not gonna show the white feather now, are you, boy? Besides, you're not fighting this battle for me or for yourself. You're fighting it for the entire male sex. Now, you just stand your ground, be firm, and I'll look out for the tricks. Now, don't worry about it. Father, I'd like to speak to Patrick alone. <laughs> Certainly. Pat, I've been thinking about it, and if it's what you really want, we'll go to Lake Placid. We will? Oh, gee, baby, that's wonderful. We'll, we'll have a lot of fun, honey. We'll, we'll, we'll take a ride on the bobsled. And, and, and we'll, uh, we'll go skating. We'll go skating and we'll go out in the snow. <laughs> Look, honey, I don't have anything against Bermuda. You understand that. And after we're married, well, we'll go down there some... <laughs> Well, it is nice in Bermuda. It's a lot warmer than Lake Placid. And that boat ride. <laughs> that was a nice cabin they were gonna give us, wasn't it? Say, you know what? What? Well, why don't we just go down to Bermuda Cafeta and have some fun down yeah, there and play? some man who was stout-hearted man Lake Placid. <laughs> well, gee whiz, Terry, if I'm gonna be the head of this house, I better start acting like the head of this house. I mean, well, I mean, you don't want your husband to act like a nice, tame little lapdog, do you? I guess not. Oh, sweetheart, what's the difference where we go? So long, well, so long as we're together, huh? Yeah. 
So let's not have any more arguments about it now. Let's just think of Lake Placid. All right. <laughs> Shipmate down together. Don't give up the ship. <laughs> there are stormy weather. We won't give up. We won't give up the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, come sit here by me. Oh, honey. Bermuda would be so beautiful. I mean, just picture those warm, tropical nights and a big, full moon and guitars strumming softly. Just the two of us alone with all that. Yeah. <sighs> Bermuda, land of enchantment. Hold that tiger! Hold that tiger! It's going to be Lake Placid. I cried for you. Now it's your turn to cry over me. <laughs> Sweetheart, baby, what's the matter? You don't love me. I do so love you. Yes, I do. No, you don't. I do. No. All right, I don't. <laughs> yes, I do so love you. You do not. What? Why do you say I don't love you? Because you never want to take me any place I want to go. Well, I do. Well, I will. Where do you want to go? Bermuda. All right, all right, sweetheart. <laughs> Between Terry and me, we're going to solve it ourselves. Come on. It's about time he solved it. Yes, it's about time she's telling him off. Telling him? No chance, Clancy. No chance. He's a man. He's going to tell her that a man's place is the head of the family. She can't push him around. That's what he's telling her. Well, she's telling him that a woman is just as good as a man, and she has every right to make as many decisions as a man, that he can't make a dish rag out of her. That's what she's telling him. Ha! Ha! Hide yourself right back again. <laughs> well, did you settle it? Yes, we settled it. Good. Where are you going on honeymoon? There isn't going to be any honeymoon. Huh? Oh, Terry, you can't get married without going on a honeymoon. There isn't going to be any marriage. No. Oh, come on, you're kidding, huh? Kidding? Here's a ring. Here it is. Oh, come I on. bought it for her to put on her finger, not on my nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, wait a minute, son. Let's, uh... Let's not be rash, huh? Danny, I'm not being rash. You call the shots yourself. If you don't assert yourself in the house, they're gonna run all over you. Yeah, well, yeah, sure, sure. But, uh... I mean, it's, the bride certainly has a right to suggest where to go on a honeymoon. I mean... Since she's going along and, and everything, <laughs> I mean, but uh, she's got a right to her opinion, but surely uh, I'm sure Terry would go where you want to go, wouldn't Johnny? Never. No <laughs> man's going to push me around. Right, Kathy? Well, yes, yeah, sure, but, well, uh, a man's got to have a, a certain amount of authority. Uh, I mean, you wouldn't want him to be a, a nice little old lapdog for a husband, would you? What are you saying? She's not entitled to an opinion? Well, sure she's entitled to an opinion, but she doesn't have a right to ignore his. Well, he's got no right to ignore hers either. <laughs> you put your finger on it, Danny. You said you got to plug the dike as soon as the first crack rears its ugly head. Yeah. Well, if you think you're going to make a wet dish rag out of me, you've got another thing coming. Uh. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> 
certainly owe you a vote of thanks, Danny. If it hadn't been for those inspirational songs, she'd have been walking all over me. Oh. Well, I think maybe you could stand one more. Huh? <coughs> You've got to give a little. Take a little. And let your poor heart break a little. That's the story of, that's the glory of love. You gotta laugh a little, cry a little, before the clouds roll by a little. That's the story of. That's the glory of love. Long as there's the two of us, we've got the world and all its charms. And when the world is through with us, we've got each other's arms. You've got to win a little. Lose a little And maybe half the blues a little That's the story of That's the glory of Love It may have been a little corny, kids, but uh, that's actually the whole secret. Give a little, take a little. I mean, that's what a truly happy marriage is based upon, compromise. Yes, we know. Yeah, but, uh, hmm? <laughs> what do you mean, you know? Terry wanted to go to Bermuda, and I wanted to go to Lake Placid. So we compromised. We're going to have our honeymoon in Las Vegas. Honeymoon? <laughs> <laughs> uh, may I have my ring, please? Yes, you may. Thank you, sweetheart. Well, you double-crossed and little shrimps. You mean this whole thing was an act? Well, how else were we going to teach you two old married fogies about compromise? got something to tell you. Okay. What'd you break or who'd you hit and why'd you do it? <laughs> well, it's nothing like that. Well, glory be. What is well, it then? Well, I was over at Helen's and we got to talking and well, she insisted that I go steady with her. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, I remembered what you said about not letting a woman make the decisions or letting her get the upper hand. Oh, I should hope so. So I told her no. Naturally. Boy, well, your age going steady is ridiculous. We're not going steady. Certainly not. We're engaged. Well <laughs> You'll come back here, young man. 